I'm saying out there to the different able children, as for myself and the other children here, come out, don't isolate yourself. Come out and get help from Tommy Reed Center and for the others out there. So that's the only way you can know to get some help. My experience was very emotional and I was inspired a lot and it was very motivated and educated. So my job is to continue to help these children even as though they are different to able like myself. One of the policies of this organization that wherever possible we would provide employment for persons with disabilities and first and foremost are the persons who have gone through our program either you know as students or in the residence or wherever but I will make it clear that we do not employ them simply because they have a disability they must be able to provide that service they must be trained and that is something we do the young lady in the kitchen as the cook maid she has done the cookery program with the Board of Industrial Training she's got her certificate Shishina and Stacy, our typist, no, that she's the typist, the little one. Stacy has probably more CXCs than me, and her English is a lot better. She's brilliant, but the problem was that she was not able to access UG because they don't have the physical infrastructure in place to allow a person in a wheelchair. So um, we have we have the young lady in the laundry. She was trained before she. Uh, was employed so that she knows how to handle the machines. I think we probably have at least 10 persons. There's Ray, there's two in the school, there's our two down here, that's four. Yeah, probably about 10 persons altogether. And we will continue to do that. I'm very, very pleased at the work of the administrator and the board and the staff here. What um, caught my attention is their policy to employ persons who have passed through the institution, which tells you that the institution is providing a service um, that is not catered for in the education system to uh, our children with special needs, because they do grow up, most of them, and they become adults. And instead of them becoming a burden on society and their families, they have been able to find employment in the institution. And so I want to shout out to all entities out there to please support the Ptolemy Reed Rehabilitation Center. There are some teething issues within the government structure and I have advised management to write me on those issues so that I can address them. Art Minister, and through your visit, have you identified any ways uh, that you can provide support to them right now before that comes through? Um, certainly, as you know, the ministry is working with the center. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a few persons here from the ministry and what we're going to do is to ensure that the bottlenecks which surrounds those persons that are here, that we clear those out. That, that is um, one of the low-hanging fruits. Secondly, I would like to ensure that the donations that come to the entity, that we can smoothen that process between the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Finance through the GRA to ensure that when those items arrive, that there is a smooth and quick process, them getting them into the institutions. Secondly, um, I would like to see more collaboration between the Ministry of Health and the Center, and also the Ministry of Social Protection and the um, Center. Having worked in the Ministry of Social Protection, there are many um, services available but there seems to um, be some clog in the process um, and so those services are not being um, provided in a timely manner to the persons who ought to be um, receiving those services. So those are some of the things I think are low-hanging fruits that we can deal with. Um, as you know, a lot has to do with us as a people and how we see persons with disability. Um, all around the world, you know, people have emerged from the way in which they thought previously about persons about disability. In Guyana, we talk about it. 
in the Constitution, we say that every citizen has a right. Um, but yet we find that there are some institutions who perhaps have not read that part of the Constitution. And so um, there are some issues um, to the upward mobility of the students here at the center being able to be accepted into the norm, the normal run of things like the classrooms and so on to go to um, the schools and so on. I don't think those are low hanging fruits that we need to move from and just ensure that we ensure that all of our citizens either with a disability or without, have access. The other has to do with the um, workshop where they provide the um, prosthetics um, for several of our people in Guyana, and it's how can we bring that cost down so that persons who do not have um, benefits from NIS or insurances and so on, um, how can they too benefit from um, the provision of a prosthetic leg or arm or, or something and how can we modernize that workshop to ensure that we bring down costs and we increase the value of the product that is being given to our people.